Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Steph. That is Chris. It is Monday, and man, did we have a good weekend. Yes, Me and you did. <laughs> Saturday. Well, first, let me just say this. Tonight, tonight at Fast Eddie's is a pool tournament. Now, they have a pool tournament every Monday night, and with prizes, money, everything. If you think you got what it takes... To be a pool hustler, pool shark, get over to Fast Eddie's and get your pool on. Get your mother pool on. If we wasn't filming tonight, I would probably. I think I might do this one of these weeks. Take the little flip mode down there and put you in the tournament and uh, let you no get good. your hustle on. I'll film it. <laughs> you know how you put that behind the back and don't look. You know that. You way. know what I have. You know, just playing pool, I'm all right. Right. I've never played in a tournament. Right. <clears throat> I take that back. Played in a tournament one time. You played as well. I did play. We were well. in Houston. Yep. And I did suck. One, <laughs> it was uh, it was at their Grand Central Station or something. Exactly. I remember. God, that was a long time ago. Well, I remember long my dad used ago. to, you know, he used to have his case and silver <clears throat> case. Undo it, he velvet. Was, uh, he was the hustler. Get the, my, yeah. my dad was a hustler too, but he didn't carry his stick in because he wanted to let you think he wasn't any good. He'd play with a crooked stick and beat you up, but <laughs> he would. I'm walking any beer joint with 20 bucks and drink all night, trust me. He, that's what he, uh, you know, my dad. Yeah, that's what, that's he what I'm saying. He was <clears> a hustler. <throat> any Anything that was hand eye coordination, he was good at. God rest his hustling soul. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him when, or my mom tells me the story where he won 2000 one night. I said, like, this is in the 70s. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> and I've showed you where he lays the yeah. stick on the, lays the stick long way on the, on the table step. And he goes, without lifting that pool stick, I bet you I can get this ball under that. I bet you I can make this ball go under that stick. And there was a, some guy that had a bunch of money. Ain't no way, and blah, blah, blah. he just picked it up and rolled it under the table. <laughs> and the guy, they said the guy paid him. Well, you have to. That's a good one. That is good. Don't tell him <clears throat> now when we tried that trick, and it won't work. Oh, I've used it a many a time, just never worth two grand. Oh, gosh. Well, that that's trick is awesome. great. The trick is great if you can pull it off. But that's it. not the pulling off I'm talking about with the Baylor Bears being able to pull off. Their second win in the NCAA tournament. They're in the Sweet 16 after beating Old Dominion. And, you know, the one thing we worry about with the Baylor Bears yep. is when they get out to a hot start, they always kind of go through that lull and give the other teams a chance, and they did that again Yeah. Uh, Saturday. But they, they came out on top. They played good. And if you didn't see it, you go to my Facebook, <clears throat> and you can see the support at George's. Yeah. Because I set my camera up when the, uh, on my phone when it went off, and people were cheering. That's some support. Now, that, now that, you, you should have recorded other things. Yeah. <laughs> that people did Let's towards the end of the night. But oh, wasn't even, wasn't even really. They probably wouldn't let you that. in that bathroom. No, <laughs> let's talk about our lightweight co-star <laughs> right there. Who, uh, after oh. a couple beers and a couple margaritas, was going home at 10 o'clock. Not out. feeling good. With a guy named Earl. Earl. With a guy <laughs> named Earl. Yeah. <laughs> and evidently, and I'm going to tell you this because I had to take her home. We met Earl a couple stops on the way down there to the way to the house. Earl is multi-orgasmic, I'm guessing. And he, was, he kept coming and coming. <laughs> he kept coming. <laughs> that was good. I haven't heard that before. Earl was. Oh, what yeah. What a man. What a man. Maybe I should Now, eaten. the girls won as well. Yeah. They beat Fresno. Now they're going to play Georgetown. Now, the thing about that is, did you know that there's not but one senior on that basketball team? On the girls? One senior did girl not know on the basketball team. They, You know, the one girl who tore ACL. Right. She's back. Oh, yeah. So, they actually looked really good, I heard. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't put it on Georgia's. No. They had a North Carolina playing, so yeah. we didn't get to see it. Oh, yeah. But they say they look really good. Well, I'm excited about that. And I will throw this out there, that they will win a national championship in the next three years. Yes. If if she stays. <clears throat> Where's she going to go? WNBA. 
uh, an alumni will pay her that to stay in Baylor. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That is true. You know, there's right, really no right. reason for, for women to come out early because they don't make that much money. But anyway, congratulations right. to both of them. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Baylor had a great Now, weekend. this is something that we have personally had to, we, we kind of know because we've had to deal with the junior high kids because we've already heard on the, you know, the mm -hmm. news and all this. But first graders, now this is over at Viking Elementary. So this is just right down the road. Well, good, good basketball games over there on, on eight-foot goals every once in a while. Yeah, now three first-grade boys <clears throat> got in trouble for touching on a first-grade girl, an appropriate. Two of them got suspended and and now is back. The other one is going to have to finish at an alternative school. Yeah. That's six years old, six or seven. Yeah. Right. Six, yeah. What's that telling you? Are, are, are we, are you just, is it just so easy to be exposed to it? What is it? Because it's hard. <clears throat> I mean, first grade. F first off, what's happening at home? Well, of course, yeah. yeah. Which... Yeah, I would think CPS would yeah. investigate each of uh, each of those homes because there may be something going on there that shouldn't be going on. Right. Of course, it's it's very accessible on TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the parents aren't monitoring it, internet. If parents aren't monitoring it, so. And and you know <clears throat> when we were just talking about this um, not too long ago. And, uh, and I said, you know, it just, it seems like all this sexual everything, curiosity is starting earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier, but dang, first grade, that's crazy. Yeah, you, you know, Colin got in trouble for slapping a girl on the butt. Right. Mm -hmm. We did that in junior high as well, but it was, don't do that again. Yeah, no, it yeah. wasn't, uh, we're going to throw you out of school, lock you up. Oh, I know. You know. Uh, the boys do the cup check deal with it, you know. We did that too. And we did it at the same age as they did. Right. I know. <clears throat> but to the con consequences are so much different. Yeah. You're supposed to be punching them in the first grade, not feeling on them. And I, I, exactly. You're not even supposed to like them. And, and it's not like they get any satisfaction out of it. Yeah, they don't have any idea. They right. see it on TV or they see it. It's like you said. It's one of those deals of, it's a story that we go, whew. Yeah, and it happened. It actually happened a month ago, and the little girl told her mom about it. And her mom, I mean, of course, they're not saying exactly what happened, but the mom said it was very, very inappropriate. There you go. So, another sure. reason why I will not have children. Yeah, exactly. Especially a first grader. Especially a first grader. It better be like a, I just, I don't know. I think I'll adopt like a 26 year old or something. <laughs> Swiss. I would. And then the inappropriate touching. <laughs> Swiss, Swiss blonde. Girl, Swiss blonde, yeah. <laughs> and she just calls you daddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, daddy. <laughs> I hope not like that. Hey, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> that wouldn't be very sexy. Now, we talked about this the other day. Remember, we talked about Elvis Presley. Oh, yeah. And he was the man. He was the man. Well, Jimi Hendrix is now the man because with his new... Song. I don't know if it's an it's a it's an album or it's a song. The Billboard 200, I think, is a song. He is number four, and he has been dead forty years. They just released it. Really? Elvis was dead <clears throat> twenty six years when they released one of his songs that he had done, and it made it up to number two or three on the charts. Yeah. But Jimi Hendrix dead forty years. You know, 40. he died so, in So this is somebody from the past is on the Billboard top. Correct. Yeah, two hundred yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At you know how long? Yeah, well, I always had one when he was when he had passed for twenty six years. years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forty. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> that's all. That's all great. But Michael Jackson. Oh, he's gonna kill it, man. I wonder how much stuff he had recorded. Oh my gosh. Well, just look at this. Look how many they said. There's more songs of Jimi Hendrix. There's more songs of Elvis. You you know he's got to have just umpteen googles of songs. Well, 